So I left my egg unattended, got it all the way up to 800 degrees, and now <clears throat> I'm really cranking it back to try to get it down to 300. You can kind of see where I am right here. And <clears throat> it dropped slowly, but now it's actually maintaining 500 degrees with just that little bit of a slip. Temperature control. As you can see, I've burped this several, several times, but even though I'm burping it, um, several times try to get that heat down because I had those coals so hot and so uh, engulfed it's really hard to reduce the heat on this egg this egg retains the heat the ceramic so well that you know once I had it up to 800 degrees even though I let it air out and I do everything else I've, I got all of the dampers closed everything shut down on the egg it shut down on the top, it shut down completely on the bottom, can't see that probably, and, uh, and it's still maintaining about 450 degrees, which is 100 degrees more than I need to cook my bread. So I'm just sitting here burping it um, every now and then to try to regulate the, uh, the heat. This is kind of a fun experiment for me. Um, last time, uh, or last time, the only time that I cooked before on the egg and I made my bread, um, I did it the right way. I, I only let it get up to 400 degrees and then I cranked it down. I was watching it really close so that I was able to regulate the heat. This time, um, I left it wide open and I walked away and I was doing something else and let it get all the way up to 800 degrees and now I'm paying the price it's hard to get the heat back down in a relatively short period of time because it retains the heat so well. This is kind of fun because I can actually kind of watch my bread baking here um, as I'm burping it, regulating the heat and uh, I, can, I can see it, it's still <laughs> rising um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out uh, when i am got everything closed out just trying to regulate the heat I get it down to 300 and then it'll go back up to 400 so I have to just kind of keep it in that 350 zone. This will be fun. Hour. Let's go ahead and check to see if we're ready to go. Mm, hard to tell. Let's punch this puppy in there and see uh, where we are as far as temperature. Temperature we need to be at about 200 degrees uh, in order for it to be done. Looks like we're just a little bit short of 200. Well, still climbing. Okay. Definitely clean on the uh, probe. So I would say that we probably could take it out now and uh, we would be okay. We're going to go ahead and let it <clears throat> cook for about five more minutes. As you can see, I've got my big pizza peel here from Big Green Egg. Uh, I plan on doing uh, quite a bit of baking, so uh, I thought that would be a good investment. So time's about up. I'm going to go ahead and bring this puppy out. Not even going to bother to take the temperature. We were so close last time that... Um, I think it will be fine. Put it out on the rack here. There we go. All right. So now we'll take it in the house and give it a try. So this is what it looks like, and um, actually looks pretty good for all that I had to go through. I don't know if we can see the bottom. Let's go ahead and turn it over here so we can see the bottom. So there's the bottom. Looks like it's it was done pretty well. Flip it over here. Go ahead and cut it. So there's the bread. It looks like it's pretty well done. Looks like it's pretty good. Take a little bite here.
Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good bread. Not bad. For whatever reason, they think the green egg is cool. Yeah, very cool, huh?